back to where I started from that little bit there. It's very shallow. It's only a couple of inches of water down there. You can see some, some tiny little fish moving about down there though. Tiny little like sticklebacks I just saw moving. Some tiny little sticklebacks in there, but other than that, not a lot going on. The beech trees, nice big beech trees. The stream is just to my left here. As I said, Nine Wells is a very small nature reserve. Ah, I thought there was some kind of monument here. Here we go. Benefactors to the... Oh my god, great big bird dropping all on. Benefactors to the Water Course Land Conduit, Thomas Chaplin, ESQ, and then it might say RE. ESQ, Lord of the Manor of Trumpington, Delapole 1610, Stephen Purse, MD, Fellow of Gonville and Caius, 1615, Thomas Hobson, Carrier, Cambridge and London, 1630, Edward Potto, I can't read what that says, Alderman of Cambridge, 1632. Joseph Merrill, Alderman of Cambridge, 1806. That's what's on this concrete monument. Nothing on that side there. Let's see if there's anything here. I thought I saw there's something on this side as well. Brambles everywhere they need to cut back. So, the supply of water to Cambridge from the adjacent springs was first suggested in 1574 by Andrew Pern, master of the Peterhouse. The design was revived by James Montague, master of Sydney, Sussex, and in 1610 carried into effect at the joint expense of the university and town. So, you can't actually see the water from here because there's undergrowth everywhere but there's a little wooden bridge I just came across to get here and a train going by so that train is leaving Cambridge and Admirates Hospital is roughly in the direction I'm pointing the camera now so there we go